hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and we got calls to celebrate yes we got calls to celebrate yes i was like well done well done well done well done portia williams and uh simon gobadia well done princess palaja henna mckinley she looks just like a princess oh waiting for her prince girl she's so beautiful she's so beautiful and portia really did her job as a mom she looked it like a mom she acted like a mom she was acting like a host running around there and it was just beautiful scenery beautiful 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 i couldn't have wanted or wished any more for those two young ladies i couldn't have and then look at she looked like she could be a very good stepmom isn't that isn't that right guys beautiful pictures i almost cried when i saw it i said man there is hope for portia lord get in her life change her make her be what you want her to be instead of what she's doing out here in all these here streets i'm like doubt is lauren your assistant your maid your um uh, what else can we call her well we're gonna move on from that because I was, I was not trying not to be petty but she was in a little jumping thing and she had even though uh poor she should have took her shoes off but you know she was having fun she wanted to be around her mommy and you did an excellent job. I can I cannot say nothing. Well, I'm gonna be shady a little later, but I couldn't say anything. The direct the decorations was on point. I don't know who the hell all these people were. Okay, like they in some kind of bridal thing and they're toasting the bride as she coming up. I don't know, but I know that's Toya, and I don't know what kind of outfit this child got on. And there go Mama, Mama Williams, and she's. Putting herself out there but she's beautiful she's looking beautiful i don't know did y'all call shamir at the last moment and invited her portion because she seems to be a bit out of place okay we were looking like tea party setting nice dresses didn't have to be over the top but that's simon gabadi's niece isn't it okay but who are all these beautiful people let's see i don't the beautiful men i don't know where they come from who are they portia Okay, and then we had little Simon Simon. He looked at all spiffy and cute himself. I said, well, damn. He's showing out. I, I couldn't say anything bad about him this time. Now, see, that's looking like a brother that got some money, and he seems like he's not arrogant or anything of that nature, and he is paying tribute to his little princess, uh, allegedly, but right now they're still boyfriend and girlfriend. But I mean, the decorations was on point. It wasn't Disney World. It wasn't Disneyland. But it ran a, a, a good second, okay? And all those big, beautiful pictures of Pilar. I hope she get one to Dennis so Dennis could uh, see it. And I mean, the decorations were outstanding. I know that was probably like a $5,000, uh, what do you call it? Birthday party setting. I ain't get too much uh, interested into the real shit, you know, because I'm like, wait a minute, now this is the kid party. They might tap up shit, and I, it looked like it, that stuff was rented. So I, I don't know if we would have had it looking like that. But if that was something Miss um, PJ wanted, she wanted to be a princess. She wanted all her subjects to bow down to her, this, that, and the third. You did an excellent job on creativity. Um, it was, The creativity was off the chain. Love it. The cake. Ooh, now that's what I'm talking about, about a birthday cake. But it kind of looked like it could have been for an adult. But I see where you were going with it. Uh, I think she could have appreciated, appreciated this a little bit better. She was probably five or seven years old. But I ain't going to throw salt. She looked like she was having fun. Uh, I think we could have put her into some, uh, you know, nice clothing. I think it was kind of cool there because I saw some sweaters going on and stuff. So, I mean... And, I mean, we could have had her dress up just at the beginning, but I would have put her into some real outdoor clothes so she could really enjoy herself. Because it seemed like she didn't know where to be, you know, fancy with it, or could she just be herself? But how Portia had them all dressed up, 
I don't, they was like they were going to Sunday brunch or something. But it's okay. It's, it's cool. It was her dream thing. I don't think it was more for Portia than it was for little PJ. But maybe she wanted. This is something PJ may have asked her for. And she definitely came through. Okay. She came through perfectly. I give her A's across the board for definitely having, you know, the kids over them dressed appropriate, appropriate for the theme that they were um probably had in an uh, invitation how to dress them and stuff like that because she was going for a theme party which was princess and she definitely looked like a princess and i hope she shared some of these photos with dennis uh I, and you know i was like but well, damn they do look good together y'all I, maybe i'm in a different mood today or whatever or i'm just enjoying the scenery the love the last he's kind of cheesing a little bit too much for me but i could really see them together I, I can they look like a loving couple it's believable and like i said i don't know if she got me in a trance or something or ah it seems like it's love there y'all it seems like it's love and i guess maybe because she's dressing the part she's looking the part of a mother you know what i'm saying and that that's gorgeous i would blow that up and put it in the house if i was portia because that's her niece and that's a baby girl and i would love to see them grow up together because i think bailey would be an excellent um big sister for her even though they're not sisters but i just love that picture i do i do Portia did a very good job and you seem so motherly and pj looks happy between you two and i'm like okay we got the first wife we got the second wife and then we have the daughters beautiful but all thing i got to say Portia, is where the hell is mama gina where is the hell where is mama gina okay now you did this setting it was good i loved it but if you're gonna have all these people here where the hell is dennis and where the hell is mama gina okay did we just out 86 or throw her on side of the street and forgot about her all together girl that now that was piss poor portion that was piss poor and i can even see you being a stepmom that was just so cute but i want you to remember her birthday meeting your stepdaughter soon to be I want you to remember her birthday and I want you to treat her the same way you're treating and doting on your own, PJ. Because if they're going to be stepsisters or sisters or however you want to put them in the near future, you need to treat them both the same. The same love and attention you're giving to PJ and specification, I want you to do the same thing for his daughter. It's only fair. It's only fair now because you know how you felt when Lauren was getting all the attention from your dad and none was really displayed on you per se because she was living in the house with them and you had to come see them every weekend or however you went uh, to view your dad. But like I said, I give Portia A's all, all around the board uh, for the decor, for the setting and the plot, the theme. But I give her an F. Okay, I give her an F on uh inviting the the audience you know the, the 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 people coming to miss princess pj's uh ceremony of a birthday celebration okay i'm sure she would have loved to have seen her dad's mom which is her grandma okay you had miss uh diane there unless miss Gina was out of town in a coma uh whatever that would be the only way she shouldn't have been invited and if you deliberately left her out of this specific occasion you should be whipped up the crack of your ass Portia I'm just saying because if you're trying to be a blended family we don't know who the hell them folks are except for a few just a few okay and like I said did you just just by, by invited Shamia at the last moment because she's not addressed appropriate she's not addressed appropriate to be one of your main squeezes you know what i'm saying because even your assistant lauren was dressed pretty okay but you see what i'm saying everybody kind of flory got a little dress going on that denim shit she, uh Shamia got all no ma'am no ma'am this no ma'am okay but that is a, a gorgeous picture portia should frame up of her and her alleged stepdaughter uh, very beautiful picture. I, I can't say uh, enough about how Portia showed out. She showed up and showed out for baby girl. 
and that whole Mexico trip that she took to uh what is it St. Lucas, whatever it is. Uh she did that for herself. That was all about Portia and Grandpa, uh Simon. It was all about them trying to recuperate probably from the first birthday party. Uh, maybe it's just the second one. Hell, I don't know. Okay, I, I, it's because I'm like, did she spend one with her other grandmama, which is Dennis' mom? Did she have a party there? And you're trying to say this was her party. Then her, she was going to have a party on a yacht, which we know that's full of foolishness, fakery, fuckery, and fraudulently activity. That whole scene in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico, that was for you and Simon. It really wasn't for anybody else. But like I say, on aesthetics... The optics of this whole shindig of a princess birthday party, tea party, excellent, excellent, excellent. Tens across the board. Because I could see Miss PJ loved herself being a princess, okay? Being a princess. And hopefully she'll get a boyfriend, a man in her life as she gets much older and he would treat her as such. Because you're doing a damn good job with. Letting her have all the finer things in life, Portia. But just don't let her forget where she came from, okay? Um, but cheers. Cheers to Pilar and her third birthday. Cheers to Simon and Portia for envisioning the dream and fulfilling it to its ultimate purpose. And that was making PJ happy on her day okay that she entered into this plane of existence of reality so that's all i got to say about this particular video well done well done well done okay i couldn't have done it better well yeah i could have done it better because uh miss gina would have been there okay miss gina and dennis would have been running around there somewhere because everything was perfect i mean well, she didn't get a picture with her and Simon and baby girl PJ, you know, by the big pottery or tea spot thing. That would have been an excellent picture for PJ to look back and say, okay, he was in my life when I was little and it seems like I was happy. Okay. And hopefully, you know, like I said, uh, Simon would do better uh, with the aesthetics with dealing with a blended family, meaning having his family come in and uh, Portia's family come in. And somehow they include Miss Gina, Grandma Gina in the situation and Dennis. But I think they're probably going through a little trouble uh, with the law and the custody. And, you know, who's going to get so much percentage of time and who's going to pay what, this, that, and the third. So I think that may be the issue that they're going through right now. Which is a piss poor shame that Portia has to act ugly. Because I'm pretty sure it's more Portia acting up than it is Dennis. Dennis just want everything to be kosher and fair. Even if it has to be 50-50. You know. And that's what people don't understand. When you do get involved and with a person and you a child comes into play. And then y'all ain't on one accord. It's about as back and forth bickering and stuff. And it just kind of tears the child apart. Because they don't know if they come to going. They don't know why their mom and dad can't be under the same roof. Then they start questioning all these outside people being with her mom and dad. And they're not together. And that's something she has to work on. And uh, try to understand it as she gets older. But like I said, Portia, Portia, you just couldn't have it. We're just kids, right? Kids running up from wall to wall. You, you had out here all these damn grown-ups around here. Especially the two men. I'm trying to figure out, are they the event planners, baby? Because why are they there? You always have people that are not family over your house and stuff. And what's this at the new house? I believe it was. The new house y'all moved into. Or you go to during the day and you probably go home at night to your real house. I don't know. But that's supposed to be Simon Gabadia's niece. Okay. I don't know who the other man is. Maybe that's her husband, boyfriend. Who knows? These two men, I don't know where they're coming from. But the uh, rest of the people I recognize, uh, Simon is in his little skinny suit with his little 
white tennis shoes going on. And I'm like, I didn't see no cigar in his hand. And it, it seemed like he got a, a cup or something, a glass or something. But I can't see if it's brown liquor or not. But I'm like, damn, you got red or one on. That was good. That was good. We can hope and pray for Simon. Yes, we can. We can hope and pray. Uh, because, like I said, he was, he was filmed. He was photographed uh, to perfection. You know, he didn't give me this you know crazy ass man with the smoking and the drinking going on and always got his shirt off and just looking a hot mess you know he wasn't that today and i was glad i was glad I was like, okay he could clean up real nicely and the shit ain't tight on him and looking like you know making him look disgusted like he constipated or something but he looked real nice and refined I said, okay, now, okay, now, I, he, he lost some, what do you call it, he was older, and these other pictures we see him in and coming down, you know what I'm saying, but this one, he was kind of relaxed, refreshed, and so, he even looked at kind of, of a hot mess, even when they were in Cabo St. Lucas, but uh, he looked at very nice, he dressed for the occasion, he was in pink and gray, that's a nice color for a man to be uh, wearing, it was a nice day, probably kind of windy, because it seemed windy, uh, because the children looked like they had on, you know, their little jumpers and stuff, meaning their little, uh, their long sleeves and sweaters going on. I don't know if I'm, what's going on with that little girl over there. She look like, would y'all get out of my way so I can jump on this thing? That's the one that was dressed accordingly how I feel. And that little blue over there, uh, she just like a little sweat outfit, you know what I'm saying? Because it was cool. Every day it was cool because them girls had on some sweaters and stuff. Probably kind of cold out the out you know, after the party, because they was out there in the elements, okay, but nevertheless, it seems like all of them had a refined time there, I would have liked it to see them in their, you know, Saturday clothes, where they're going out to play, but since it was a theme party, I, you know, won't be too harsh on uh, giving her, you know, a lesser grade than an A, because I understood where she was going with it. She didn't miss it that much. She was kind of off the mark when it came to the attire. But if it was supposed to be a princess kind of theme, then okay. Okay, okay, okay. I get it. Got it good. But the only thing I can give her an F on is she just did the, 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 the what do you call it? The, um, what do you call it? Uh. The guest list. That's what I'm thinking of, y'all. The guest list wasn't appropriate because Miss Gina wasn't on them. Now, Miss Diane was going to be the damn show. Miss Gina need to be there. And I know she did not and not not invite Miss Gina because she didn't want Dennis to know where she stayed. I'm like, girl, when y'all go to court, you got to put your uh, address and stuff on there. And they, they, he wants to know. He needs to know where his baby girl is. Because you be cutting up over there and fall out. And Simon got his daughter. And then he can't get to his daughter. It's just a hot mess. You see what I'm saying? So that was piss poor, poor. So we got to give you and Simon an elf because Miss, I mean, uh, Simon should have said, "Look here, she is the grandmother of that child. You got your mama here. We might well go and invite her. It looks good. That's what it looks good, Portia. And it don't look spiteful. And then Portia should have took on and said, "Okay." Uh, I'm going to invite her. If she don't come, I'm going to do a high five. If she come, then I'm just going to be on my best behavior. But I think Miss Gina should have been there. And the only reason why she wasn't there is because you really wasn't making her feel welcome. Or she was sick or out of town or something to that degree. Other than that, Mama Gina should have been there. All right? That's all I'm saying. But that's all I have, guys, for this video. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed it. But Portia pushed through. She came through. She understood the assignment. And we have to give her her props. All right. But that's all I got. Y'all enjoy the video. And I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.